Hi everyone, my name is Larry Farino from ACBM Solutions. In this video, I want to walk through an orchestration that will allow you to update advanced pricing records. And when I say update, really what we're going to do is expire existing records and then create new ones. Uh, as you know, there's not an easy way to do this in JD Edwards. And so for that reason, the orchestrator is a, a great way to, to satisfy that requirement. So I have an orchestration already built here. I'm going to come in to the studio. And when I open up my orchestrations, I'm going to select my advanced pricing orchestration. And it's a fairly complex orchestration in terms of the different components that it's using. But once we walk through it, you'll see it's actually a pretty straightforward process. So the first step of this process is to get the advanced pricing record. So this is just a simple form request. And if we look inside this form request, you can see I'm going to the P4072, the W072B form. We're putting in uh, these first three fields, the adjustment name, the item number, and then the service package, and then selecting the first row. Then when we get to the second screen, we're just returning form data. And specifically what we're returning here is uh, the expired date and the from level, which is the quantity. Now, the reason why we need to do this is because on the second screen, there's not an existing QBE row. So uh, because there's no QBE row, there's no way for us to find which record to actually suspend. Um, and that's why we need to return all the fields and then feed it into a Groovy script. So the second step is the Groovy script that's going to look at the results of that first uh, form request. And all we're gonna do here is look through those results, find a match on the quantity, as well as confirm that the expire date on that, on that row is greater than or equal today. And if it is, then we're gonna return that, that row number. Okay. Once we have the row number, then it's pretty straightforward. So we have a rule here and this rule is going to simply check to make sure that the row number is not equal to zero. So on the previous step, if there is no row number that's found, if there's no match, then it will return zero. Otherwise, if there is a row number found, then it will return that row number. So as long as it's not equal to zero, this will return true. And if it returns true, then we get to call our update advanced pricing form request. So looking into here, if I click on this edit button, we'll see we're gonna to go to that same form and, and filter have the same filter criteria on the, the first form, that P4072. Then in our adjustment uh, detail revisions, we're going to update the row and the, the update row is gonna come from our Groovy script and we're going to update the expired date. Finally, we're going to um, close the application back out to make sure that we don't leave any hanging applications. Once that piece is finished, we're going to then go and add a new pricing record. So this is just a, a regular straightforward form request. There's nothing special about this here, but we're, we enter the adjustment name and click add. Um, <clears throat> when we get into that detail revision screen, we're going to go ahead and add a new record here based on the quantity, the new price, um, that, that service package and, and an effective date. Then we just confirm through and close the application. So let's go ahead and take a look at this running. So I'm going to come to my JD Accelerator tab. I'm going to select updated advanced pricing. I'll click create template. And now I can simply fill out these input fields. So our adjustment name is AGCON, item number 7100, service package is elite, quantity is one, and the price we'll put at 9900. Now I'm gonna do a few of these. For the different quantities, so 10, 20, and 100. We'll just update the prices for these. So once I have all of my data here in Excel, I'm gonna click the upload data button. Give it a second to push all this data up to our orchestration. And you can see here, 
that it looks like these records were all successfully processed. And if we go back into JD Edwards, So we're gonna go ahead and enter our adjustment name, our item number, our service package. And when I click find, and I come into the first row here, you'll see that <clears throat> These five records that I have highlighted now are all expired with today's date. And then a new record has been created for each one of these, starting with, with tomorrow's date. Uh, you'll notice that the first record was not altered at all uh, because it had already previously expired before when we ran this orchestration. So that concludes this demonstration. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, uh, please feel free to send me an email at lferino at acbmsolutions.com or feel free to visit our website to get more information about our products and services. Thank you.